will go away. Um, every, I think, I hope everyone will live a much better life. Uh, I think that can simultaneously be true, but I don't think it's going to quite have the employment impact people expect. Um, if you look at what's happening now, the current systems are good at doing tasks and not jobs. And people say, well, but they're going to get better and better at doing jobs. Welcome to the Tech and Butter channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic that has been on everyone's minds lately. The impact of AI on the job market. And who better to shed light on this than the CEO of OpenAI himself, Sam Altman, who recently shared his insightful thoughts during his visit to Japan. Altman's perspective is truly intriguing, as he emphasizes the distinction between AI's role in tasks versus its impact on jobs. Some jobs will go away. Um, every, I think I hope everyone will live a much better life. Uh, I think that can simultaneously be true. But I don't think it's going to quite have the employment impact people expect. Um, if you look at what's happening now, the current systems are good at doing tasks and not jobs. And people say, well, but they're going to get better and better at doing jobs. And that's true. But then I think the kind of like definition of those jobs will keep changing. And as you can automate bigger and bigger chunks, it will free people to work at a higher and more creative level and just do more. So, you know, we see computer programmers now that use these tools two or three times, sometimes much more than that, more productive than before. And then there's this question of well, what happens when they're not two or three times more productive, but 20 or 30 times. And the answer, I think, is the world just gets more and better stuff. I don't think we're going to run out of code to write. I don't think we're going to run out of new products. I think we'll find it like we just weren't close to satisfying the demand. And we'll see similar things in every other industry. We'll also see, and we're seeing this already, maybe prompt engineers, the first example. But we'll see totally new classes of jobs that emerge over time. And... I basically, I just think all of the predictions, or almost all the predictions are wrong. Um, you've got to stay close to the technology and see how it evolves. Uh, but through any, through any previous technological revolution, uh, there's always been this like, all right, there's going to be no more jobs. And although the jobs of the future are always different, it doesn't seem like we ever run out of new things to want desire to like express our creativity to get fulfilled to contribute something like useful back to the scaffolding of society that we all benefit from and yeah i mean like maybe you know the jobs of the future are like unimaginable today and you know we look at them and say well that's not real work they're just like going to like explore that new galaxy for fun um but there will be new jobs and they'll be meaningful to people and i think if you talk to people a couple of thousand years ago they'd look at our jobs today and say well that's not real work either Instead of viewing AI as a threat to employment, he suggests that it's more accurate to consider AI as a tool to enhance and augment human capabilities in various tasks. This perspective is incredibly valuable, as it opens up a world of possibilities for collaboration between humans and AI systems. Looking ahead, Altman envisions a future that embraces AI as a catalyst for positive change. With the right approach, he believes that AI can create new opportunities and unlock unprecedented levels of innovation. This, this technology revolution will elevate everyone, but it'll impact poor, it'll help poor people the most. If you think about what it would really mean if we can drive the cost of cognitive labor and cognitive services down, 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 um, if, if you think about like great medical care, um, that may be like pretty unaffordable to poor people around the world right now. If we can make that, if we can make great medical advice close to free, that helps poor people more than rich people, even though that helps. Similarly with education, you know, rich people can afford a good education today. If we can now make a better education than anyone on the earth can get available um, at almost free, that will help poor people more than rich people. So I think the shape of this particular technology, um, like many other technologies, like I think iPhones have done a lot to equalize the world, will be an equalizing force. Um, however, the second point, you bring up a good point about like job shifts and again it's it's not totally clear how that's going to work if you asked if you asked experts from five or ten years ago they would have said this coming automation is really going to be bad for people that work like traditionally lower paid jobs first it's going to come for physical labor then the sort of low end of cognitive labor and then the medium then the high end like a computer programmer maybe maybe not and then maybe way in the future but probably never because there's like some human magic to it creativity and of course, it's gone exactly the opposite direction. I, you know, like maybe we get to a world where 
to get something driven across town or delivered or you know some like physical job is super super expensive and you can have an iphone app made for like seven dollars it, it's i think it's just like hard to predict how this is all going to go um even then i think we do need to explore things like basic income um as a cushion through this change and i suspect that in a world with ai the sort of socioeconomic contract of the world is going to change Ultimately, the future with AI is not a dystopian scenario where jobs are eradicated, but rather a landscape where humans and machines work harmoniously together. We'll keep pushing these. We'll add other modalities. So, you know, someday they'll do video, audio, images, text all together, and they'll get like much smarter over time. But the next paradigm uh, that will come after that, I mentioned, I touched on this earlier, but I'm super excited. So I'd love to expand on it is when these models can not only sort of mimic what humans would do and put together existing ideas in new ways and you know do everything people like GPT-4 for, but really help generate fundamental new ideas. Um, and so I think what's next for us, in addition to continuing to push on the, the GPT paradigm, is figuring out how we go beyond that and how we get these models to go discover new knowledge, cure diseases, figure out how to address the environmental crisis, solve all of physics, whatever whatever you can imagine there. Um, I think that is going to make these current models look like uh, this sort of silly little toy and side note in history. Of course, they'll still be useful, but if you really think what it's like if, um, if these models can generate new scientific advances, uh, I believe that is the only sustainable fundamental way that the world gets better and that we get growth over time. And if we think about a world where we don't just have you know the rate of that we've had in the past but maybe in one year or five years as much as we've had in the past 500 by leveraging ai's strengths in automating repetitive tasks humans can redirect their skills and creativity towards higher value activities that require uniquely human qualities such as empathy critical thinking and problem solving it's essential to recognize that the integration of ai into the job market will require adaptation and upskilling as technology continues to evolve, so must our abilities. And whatever you want to do to learn about it now, to get familiar with it, it's all going to be valuable to you later. Um, this is like, you're all like a very lucky generation. Stuff like this does not come along that often. And so I wouldn't worry like exactly about, you know, do I know my total life plan and, and exactly how I want to use the technology. I think any exposure to it, getting familiar with it, getting good at it, thinking about it, figuring out how to like go be productive in the world in a new way eventually with this, um, you're all just going to like have an incredibly great time and, uh, you know, whatever works to get there. Altman's insights encourage us to embrace a growth mindset, to continuously learn and develop new skills that align with the demands of an AI driven world. This includes fostering a culture of lifelong learning, investing in education and training programs and promoting interdisciplinary collaboration. AI has the potential to alleviate mundane tasks, boost productivity, and empower individuals to achieve greater heights. By embracing this transformative technology responsibly, we can shape a future that benefits both society and the workforce. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, stay tuned for more thought-provoking content here on the Tech and Butter channel.